We're Daisy the Great. I'm Kelly. I'm Minna. And this is our most requested live Ask Anything chat. Our new song is called Record Player featuring AJR and it's out now everywhere. And I want to say thank you to Romeo and iHeart for having us on the show tonight. So we are on tour right now. So we are That's in, why we're in a our band. tour van. <laughs> so sorry for uh, any honking or road noises. Yeah, no. You know how it goes. But we're really excited to be here and to read these questions and, and answer them. So our first question is from Brittany from Morgantown, West Virginia. And Brittany asked us, Daisy the Great Roll Call, name and where you're from. Amazing. So we are, at, when we're all of us, we're six a six-piece band. But right now we only have three of us with uh, us in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so um so we will answer and then we'll just answer for our bandmates who aren't here right now so i'm kelly and i am from new york city i'm minna and i'm from new orleans and nardo is driving i'm nardo i'm from pittsburgh pennsylvania nardo's from pittsburgh great then we have mati on drums from chicago, chicago. then we Brie. have brie our vocalist Matt, who plays guitar and sometimes bass for us, is from Hong Kong. But we all met in New York. We did. They all came to me. Um, okay. Cool. Next question. Sarah from Erie, Pennsylvania. What was your first job? Um, I think we both were babysitters first, but I think my first job that was like on the books was a counselor, a camp counselor at the JCC, um, and I was a counselor in training, a CIT, when I was probably, like, 13, so it was, like, the situation, like, kids taking care of kids. <laughs> um, yes, I was a babysitter, <laughs> and then after that, I also was a, I started to teach music and, uh, create shows and, uh, work on like directing musicals and stuff for kids and teenagers at Tada in the city. So Melissa from Dallas, Texas says, when did you guys know you two were a fit and wanted to be a duo? Cool. <laughs> um, we went to college together. We went to Tisch at NYU and we were both acting majors and we weren't actually in the same group together. We were like got split up into groups for class and we were never in the same group until third year. And in third year we were in a sketch class where we had to like create original content for it for like the final show. And Minna and I both knew that the other person wrote music and we ended up being like, oh, we should write a song for this class, like for this project. So we wrote. We wore like. <laughs> we wore. I I, like I, I had these two yeah. like wizard clothes. Kelly was like her like. Aesthetic she had like was a, like, like witch goth like yeah. vibes. And she she had these like two really long velvet coats, and I wore one of them. And we both like held ukuleles. It's, it's, it's pretty embarrassing and it's very fun. Um, <laughs> but there's. And we were like, this is gold. <laughs> <laughs> There's a picture that I don't think exists online anymore of yeah. us in, in, in that outfit, like, like being so serious. <laughs> um, but that's how we, we, we started. And then uh, after, uh, I graduated a semester early and Kelly had like a part-time semester, um, the fourth year of college. And um, I hit her up and was like, I don't know what to do creatively right now. Like, let's write a musical. And then we'd meet every day at the Marlton Hotel for hours and hours, order a cookie and a coffee <laughs> and a big thing of like shoestring fries. Yeah. Uh, and we wrote a musical. Um, and then the, the musical was about a band. Um, and then we were like, okay, now we have to write the songs for the band and the musical. And then we were like, well, I have these songs and you have these songs. And we were sharing them and like arranging them for each other. And we we're like, you know what? Let's just, instead of like writing a musical as an excuse to play a band, <laughs> let's just play a band in life. So, yeah, we, um, yeah, we started Daisy the Great and kind of like, as we grew, like collected more people to be a part of the band. And um, it's been really fun. It's been a yeah. big, big fan. And I think that's why, that's like why 
we knew that we wanted to do it is because it was like born out of just like silly fun stuff and it like still feels like that which I think is really key to like enjoying what you're doing is that it's just like really actually super fun yeah and I feel like whenever we're like making music and stuff if it if we're not feeling that we're like if, if it ever feels like it's like a chore to make a song we're yeah. like this song's the probably stop. not the yeah. song like, <laughs> let's do the next one <laughs> yeah um cool Sasha from Denver Colorado said favorite thing to eat what do you think if we have the same thing do you want to say that I, once one uh two, yeah but Pasta. pasta. <laughs> I was going to be more specific about the pasta, but okay, one, that's which good. Kind? One, two, three. Penne. Penne. Were you going to say that? No, I was just what reading your lips. Oh. I don't know what I was going to say. I like all pasta. I felt worried that you were going to say spaghetti, but... Spaghetti's good. I mean, I like... There's a really specific pasta I like from... Me too. Um, it's at this restaurant called Olea in Fort Greene and they have a farro pasta with broccoli rob and I like to add Italian sausage to it and it also has uh, pine nuts in it and oil and goat cheese I want to say that it's sounds so good, good. But yeah, the, the, the really specific it's funny that you said your really specific pasta because my really specific pasta is a <laughs> home pasta it's not a restaurant <laughs> pasta so my well, specific that's better because you can my, well, make the one my the specific pasta, pasta is the pasta that I ask for like if I'm feeling sick when I was growing up I would like force my mom to make me this pasta which is penne pasta with cut up <laughs> string cheese <laughs> and green olives and it's so good you've never made me that I don't make, make it, it on only tour. my mom can Wait, make you it you should make it Nar- Nardo yeah I got Nardo's you. gonna um make a meal plan for us on tour he he makes like really delicious meals in a pressure cooker um so we'll add penne with string cheese and olives for the cut up string, cut cheese. Up string cheese and olives it has to be the right string cheese though because i feel like they stop making the kind i like anyway cool. trevor from <laughs> st louis <laughs> st louis missouri biggest influence on your career what is the, does that mean like how do you take that like do you think that means like I think it a means person or does it mean like what influenced you to want like, like I think get mine to, like what why is your career the way it is now I guess that's like could be anything. yeah I think it can be whatever you think okay. my answer is that my mom was the biggest influence on my career because not only is my mom just like incredibly supportive but she also was an opera singer and like taught me to sing and like really was so encouraging and like I just loved music when I was a kid and I think that really and she also like didn't pressure me at all like I quit piano once and then she was like that's okay and then later like two years later I was like but I want to write music I want to like understand music theory like I really want to take up piano and she was like "Mm, okay (laughs) so (laughs) I really appreciate that like letting me kind of just like find my way and like teaching me what she loves about music but Mm -hmm. also just like letting me do like find my you know path yeah Yeah, I don't think I would be doing music if my mom didn't Should I answer it too? Of course. Okay. <laughs> I'm having a like writer's block in my head of this question right now. But I, I would say like what influenced me, I'm kind of going to take this question in the direction of like where, just like how I feel like I ended up where I'm at. Mm-hmm. And I really do feel like it was like just kind of going with the flow of like what felt good. Because I always knew that I wanted to be making stuff like creating stuff like we went to acting school and then I was like I like acting but I feel so much more like a like I I have like stuff I want to make more than like playing a part um and it's fun now because I feel like I've like we've like created something that I can play the part of yeah. Like, like we are ourselves but like you also have like you know stage presence and persona and all of that and like you can play within that um but I think that like just I 
I like how free it feels to make music and I think also just the fact that I didn't study it growing up and like you know I, I, I took like vocal lessons and like piano lessons and stuff but I was never like in like extreme like theory or like um songwriting classes so I felt like I could kind of do whatever I want and there weren't yeah. any rules um and I learned from like the people around me and like met a lot of cool like people who were making music and like I think seeing my friends making music made me realize that like it is something I could do um and it is I feel like I like have learned how to make music by making music of that yeah this is a very long-winded answer <laughs> and I don't even think it's an answer to the question that was asked but it is um, okay okay yeah I've, I've been influenced by what my like the people around me in general yeah that's the <laughs> end that is what we're ending on so thank you for thank watching you so much for watching ask anything chat <laughs> with Romeo and most requested live. Our new song is called Ret <laughs> Retro Player. <laughs> Record Player with AJR and it is out everywhere now. Woo! Thank you for watching. See ya. Bye. <laughs>